Hi, this is Matt Roberts with Shamrock Aquaponic Farm, and today I'm going to show you how I built my do-it-yourself timber arch. This arch allows one man to move a thousand up to two thousand pound log by himself. I found a lot of different designs online, but this one seemed to have the best ability to hook the log up and to release it with the least amount of trouble. The only downside with the ones online was they run about two thousand dollars. This one I was able to cobble together for about a hundred and fifty. I started off by cutting out the um, skidding tongs. These um, I made out of some half inch plate that I got from the scrap yard. I actually cut out a template from a piece of wood and then used a plasma cutter to just trace out that shape. After I had the shapes cut out I ground them down smooth and drilled in the holes for the pivot points and the um, shackle points. Next I cut out three pieces of uh, plate to form the tail piece and this is actually the piece that the skidding tongs hook onto. They had to be ganged up to be strong enough to, to lift that log up. I laid out the arch on a piece of paper. Uh, you can see I drew the inside and outside diameter and then just cut the two inch pipe and into like six inch pieces and fitted them in there. After I tacked the pieces together so they wouldn't move I went ahead and welded everything and then just ground the welds off so it was pretty smooth. You can see the spindles at the bottom. These were an old axle that had collapsed but I was able to save the spindles and then just to beef them up a little added a little bit of extra plate to uh, strengthen that joint. The mainframe is about um, a six foot piece of inch and a half square tube that was welded on and then braced. At the across the top, there's another bracing that's put on so that it doesn't collapse when you when you really bear down to lift up a big log. The handle was built to be removable. On small logs, you can just use it the way it's set up now. But if you're going to move a, a ton log, you need an extra six foot of leverage to be able to to get it going. Um, that handle can be removed and you can put in a, an adapter for a tractor, uh, trailer hitch, or ATV. So not a bad day project. Uh, it has really helped me out around the lot. So here's a few shots just so that you can kind of see it from different angles. Maybe it'll help you if you're going to build one yourself. If the photos aren't enough um, to work from, you can go to our website, shamrockaquaponicfarm.com, and there's a free download with all the dimensions drawn out. Hopefully this helps you. Um, this has been Matt with Shamrock Aquaponic Farm. Talk to you later.